The World Economic Forum just dropped a bombshell report confirming what I've been warning you about. AI will obliterate 85 million jobs by 2025 while creating 97 million new ones. This is 2025 we're talking about by the end of this year. But here's what they don't tell you in their fancy PowerPoint. Those 97 million new jobs that they're going to create aren't going to the same people who lost the original 85 million. They're going to people with the right certifications. People like Maria. Remember her? We talked about her last December. She was answering phones and getting yelled at in the customer service department for $35,000 a year while her company was secretly training her digital replacement. Now she's making $175,000 helping, helping implement the same AI that's currently turning her former department into a digital wasteland. Meanwhile, her ex-colleagues are updating their LinkedIn profiles with open-to-work badges, the digital equivalent of funeral wreaths. The difference? She had three of the five golden tickets I'm about to show you, and they didn't. You need to understand the narrative shift happening because these executives, they, th they think we're all stupid. They think we're all just a bunch of uh, blubbering bobbleheads. You know, you remember uh, Chevy Chase and uh, Christmas Vacation? You know, <laughs> kiss my ass, kiss his ass, kiss your own ass. <laughs> Just a bunch of bobbleheads following behind the boss. But let me let me translate what their recent statements actually mean. In January of 2024, while laying off hundreds of employees, Google's chief business officer, Philip Schindler, told staff they were in a profound moment with AI, while at the same time he was gutting their ad sales division. Translation, we're firing you to pay for our shiny new AI toys. The absolute champion of uh, corporate doublespeak is IBM. Um, first, IBM announced slashing 3,900 positions. Then a few months later, IBM, they casually mentioned, replacing 7,800 jobs with AI. And just to put it in a nice uh, PR bow, CEO uh, Arvind Krishna announced they would be massively upscaling all of our employees on AI. What he meant by that was massively upscaling the employees who haven't been ex escorted to the parking lot yet with their cardboard boxes and their desk plants. Mark Zuckerberg of Meta called 2023 the year of efficiency and vowed to flatten management, corporate code for decapitating entire layers of people. After cutting 13% of their workforce, which was 11,000 jobs, and then another 10,000 roles, Meta suddenly announced they would prioritize hiring for AI-related positions. What's that translation? We're not downsizing, we're AI-sizing. Here's the pattern, if you haven't discerned it. Last year, executives blamed the macroeconomic climate for layoffs. Now they're all reading from the same script about a renewed focus on AI as justification for workforce reductions. It's the same bitter pill, just with a fancier coding. It's kind of a double speak, if you will. And here's the smoking gun. According to reports like one from CNN Business, an increasing number of tech companies have explicitly cited AI as a reason for recent layoffs while at the same time pouring billions into AI investments. They're not even trying to hide it anymore. Not if you look for it. And look, I've been tracking these trends across multiple industries for the past several months here on this, this channel. If I, AI were truly replacing workers equally, we'd see layoffs spread evenly across all sectors. But what we're actually seeing is executives using AI as a convenient excuse to do what they've always wanted to do, cut costs, inflate stock prices, and tell a reassuring story to Wall Street. They're not waiting for AI to actually work perfectly. They're cutting now based on what they think AI might do someday, and it's got a long way to go, but that doesn't seem to matter. So while CEOs are presenting grand narratives about AI transformation, real people with mortgages, college tuitions for their kids and grandkids and retirement accounts, hanging in the balance are facing job insecurity. Us Gener X, Generation Xers again. But here's the crucial point. Your company can't easily replace you with AI if you become the person who knows how to manage and leverage that AI first, think about who you're dealing with here. You're dealing with a bunch of uh, corporate management people who mostly are actually even older than me. Uh, you know, they're in their late 60s or possibly even early 70s and should retire, but they won't. But they don't know what AI is. They don't understand what it can do. All they've heard is about how AI is going to replace everything and everybody. So they're counting on the fact that they can just get rid of people and have other experts come in and, you know, show them how to do all that. So you be that expert, okay? Golden ticket number one, your wasteland passport. 
This isn't just a certification. It's your wasteland passport that gets you past the corporate border patrol when they're <laughs> checking for essential personnel badges. Costs around 100 bucks, takes four to six weeks of part-time study, and suddenly you're, you're cloud fluent, a phrase you probably hear all the time. Uh, but that makes hiring managers salivate like a, they're at an all-you-can-eat buffet the day before bankruptcy. <laughs> now, you won't be a cloud engineer, but you'll understand the infrastructure that AI runs on, which is more than the C-suite executives making your fate decisions can claim, like I just said. This is the ticket that gets you past the digital wasteland gates while your colleagues are left outside scrounging for freelance gigs like they're hunting for scraps in a post-apocalyptic junkyard. Golden ticket number two, CompTIA data. If cloud understanding is your wasteland passport, data expertise is a survival gear that keeps you alive once you're inside. Data isn't just the new oil, it's the new oxygen. And companies are desperate for people who can wrangle it into a form their AI overlords can consume. It's about 250 bucks, uh, about two months of studying, and suddenly you're the person who understands the data lifecycle, which in today's corporate landscape, Makes you more valuable than people who've been warming ergonomic chairs for decades. I'm sorry I'm laughing at these. I forget I wrote some of this late at night. And uh, I was feeling kind of, you know, funky. <laughs> this ticket just doesn't get you into the wasteland. It gives you the weapons and armor to survive there while others are walking around in corporate branded t-shirts that might as well have targets painted on them. If I sound a little bit, I don't know, hyper today it's because i keep reading the news and it keeps coming out and i see more and more people are panicked about this and you can panic you can curl up in a ball and lay on the floor but that's really not going to help uh, you need to get out there as i keep saying every episode you know the days of coming home and unwinding after work are pretty much over until you get your your studying done about what's going on at work next and this this will be the way it is until you retire everything's changing on on a daily basis and i'm not even exaggerating i mean just look at some of the youtube videos look at the news on the you know TechCrunch and other magazines or, or uh, websites there is a new tool comes out daily and it's better than the tool that came out yesterday all right golden ticket number three google project management certificate even when the machines take over the wasteland, someone has to command the outposts. This certification is available through Coursera and can often be accessed at uh, low cost or no cost through financial aid. And six weeks later, you're qualified to be the human warlord of the AI armies. Project managers with AI knowledge are seeing 40% salary bumps. Not everybody, but up to 40% salary bumps. You know, I'd take a, a $10,000 salary bump. But anyway, that's because every company needs someone to implement their AI transformation without causing a worker revolt that ends with server racks being pushed into rivers. In the corporate wasteland, this ticket makes you the one deciding which buttons get pushed, not the one being pushed out the door during the next strategic realignment. In the fourth golden ticket, uh, Microsoft Azure AI Fundamentals. This is the, I actually understand what the hell these machines are saying badge. It proves you can translate between human needs and AI capabilities, making you the universal translator in a company full of people who still think the cloud means bad weather is coming. 99 bucks, th three weeks of study, and suddenly you're the office AI interpreter rather than yet another obsolete human component waiting to be replaced. I've seen people leverage this foundational AI knowledge into, you know, up to $35,000 raises. Not everybody, but, you know, again, I'll take, I'll take $5,000. I'll take $20. And that's because management is terrified of looking clueless about the technology they're betting their entire company on. I said that just a few moments ago. This ticket lets you communicate with the machines instead of becoming replaced by them. All right, and our final ticket, uh, golden ticket number five, corporate warlord credentials. It's IBM's AI Engineering Professional Certificate. This isn't just a ticket. It's the battle plans for conquering the entire wasteland. Yeah, it takes three to four months. Yeah, it requires technical aptitude, including Python skills, a little programming, a little coding. But it transforms you from replaceable resource to essential AI implementation specialist. I've tracked professionals with credentials in this area who were promoted during company-wide purges. Let that sink in. While their colleagues were being escorted to the door, these people were being given corner offices. 
This ticket doesn't just save you from the corporate meat grinder. It puts you in control of which department gets automated and which skills get prioritized. You go from potential wasteland casualty to becoming the next wasteland overlord, deciding who gets to stay in your fortress. Here's exactly what to do. You pick one of these golden tickets that aligns with your existing experience. Update your LinkedIn headline before pursuing whatever certification it is before you even finish it. I mean, companies are so desperate for these skills or considering candidates who are just actively learning. When your boss mentions AI initiatives in your next meeting, drop the exact phrase that I'm about to share right now. I've been studying that certificate specifically to help us implement that more effectively. Just saying that one simple productive statement, that proactive statement that you're uh, that you're, uh, you know, you're learning about it is helping people survive three rounds of layoffs. OK, just your boss knowing that you're on board while while maybe you're not the lead, you're at least somebody who knows what the lead person is talking about and that can help. OK, so even if you don't have a certification yet, you make everybody know that you're taking your head in that way. If you're not sure which golden ticket matches your background, comment below with your current role and I'll tell you exactly which one to pursue. And don't do that tomorrow. Uh, not not even a little while later today. Do it now. OK, here's what you're going to do in the next 60 minutes. Go to AWS training, Google career certificates, uh, CompTIA or Microsoft. Learn and create a free account. That's step one. Cost nothing, maybe five minutes of your time. In the next episode, I will reveal the specific warning signs that your job is being targeted for AI replacement, including the exact language HR uses to disguise mass layoffs as strategic realignment. Look, we're Generation X. We've survived dial-up internet, Y2K panic, and teaching our parents how to use smartphones several times over. We're not going down just because some 22-year-old punk consultant with a PowerPoint convinced your CEO that AI can replace your decades of experience. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, start exploring a certification tonight, and let's show these corporations that we're not the generation that goes quietly into the night. And remember, it's not the AI that will replace you. It's the person who knows how to use AI. So be that person, or be reduced to scavenging for gigs in the digital wasteland. We'll see you next time. <laughs>